Today I will talk about the Net Atmo weather station for indoor and outdoor in our homes. When I first heard about this device I was not sure how I could um, use it in my house and uh, I really didn't think that it could be of um, any use or benefit so I didn't think much of it um, at first but lately I've changed um, the layout in my house and I moved my main bedroom into the lower level of the house and um, I always had the idea that um, this uh, room was uh, colder somehow uh, than the upper level where uh, my thermostat is and um, I wanted to know if um, I really uh, if it was my imagination or uh, really my um, um, here of the house my heating system was not um, for some reason uh, heating the same uh, in the lower level of the house so I thought again about the net Atmo uh, little system I decided to give it a try and um, I've been very pleased on uh, how uh, it works and um, also I've learned um, a little bit of the information it displays uh, right on your phone so um, I think it's a nice uh, little system to have and um, I will show uh, what it's made of and um, what you can see in your smartphone once uh, you set it up when you unpack it, it comes with two modules, a longer one and a shorter one. The longer one is intended for your indoor temperature and uh, monitoring. So it looks like this, it's um, a little cylinder. And uh, the first time you set it up, you uh, connect the cable. It's a USB cable with um, an AC power adapter. So you connect your um, module to your uh, USB port in um, your computer and that's how you set it up um, via your web browser you download a little uh, configuration app and then um, you uh, go through the initial configuration for uh, the net atmos station um, once you do that uh, you have to go and set set up uh, the outdoor one which um, i will show you now so the outdoor module looks like this it's a uh, little bit smaller cylinder which uh, it's recommended to be installed away from direct sunlight and also like from water so it's not um, um, resistant to uh, the elements of the weather so I just installed it um, uh, on, uh, on a wall so it has uh, a little um, hole in the back so that you can attach it uh, to a screw and um, uh, put it on a wall and it's very unobtrusive and uh, it doesn't look bad either so uh, that's how I have uh, the outdoor module set up it runs on uh, two little uh, AAA batteries now that we have looked at uh, how the two modules look the indoor and the outdoor modules we can take a look at uh, what we can do with them um, right in the app so uh, now we are gonna go through our smartphone and open the app to see what uh, the NetNatmo is all about so this is what you get um, when you open the app you get uh, two windows uh, a split window where on the top part you can see um, the outside conditions you get um, the outside temperature that is being measured by the net atmo device not uh, the one that you get from the internet so this is your local temperature read outside of your house from your netmo ad, uh, module um, it also has a barometer it's uh, measuring uh, the atmospheric pressure um, you have uh, your wind chill factor and uh, you have your uh, humidity uh, percentage as well um, in the ambient uh, you have uh, different uh, windows to uh, scroll over but um, you need uh, some extra access accessories for that for the air quality I'm not sure what they offer but um, you can have a rain gauge to um, uh, check uh, for rain and stuff and uh, you have also a wind gauge that you can additionally purchase and uh, add it to, uh, to the net that configuration I don't have this module so right now I started pretty basic so I don't think I need that um, specific uh, measurement of the weather outside of the house my particular interest was inside the house 
And like I said, I'm interested in uh, knowing the difference of temperature between one area of the house and the other. So in my bedroom, which I think is colder, I'm going to find out if uh, how big the difference in temperature is from the upper level where my thermostat is um, reading the, the house temperature. So that's on the top uh, part of um, the display that we get from uh, the Netatmo app. Now, on the middle part, you get the outside uh, forecast in temperature. Uh, like um, uh, you enter your location when you set it up. Like you go, if not, then you go here to um, your uh, settings. And um, oh, it's in the bottom part. So you go to the settings. And here you can specify a whole bunch of stuff like what kind of uh, units you want to use, if you want to use Imperial or if you want to use Metric. I hate Imperial so I always use Metric. Um, here you can uh, go and take a look at uh, how your device is configured. You can name it, you can choose a location where um, it will use for the weather forecast, your time zone, uh, how you want to name it and all the different uh, status um, numbers that you get uh, from uh, from your modules. So that's what you get uh, if you go to settings. So then in the middle part you get this little strip with uh, the weather for the coming week and, and that's um, the weather in your area. The one in the top is the weather outside and uh, the one in the bottom is your interface with your um, indoor module which uh, right now like I said and we have seen before it's set up right here inside my bedroom um, so uh, that's what you see in this uh, bottom part so uh, it's taking measurements um, uh, after a certain amount of time and it keeps updating uh, its measurements in here you get um, a CO2 the quality of the air in your room um, you get a CO2 measurement and you get a color code uh, display of the quality of the air. Right now um, it has uh, raised a little bit um, as, um, as the day has uh, been going by. Uh, the ideal or green is around 400 uh, ppm, um, which is uh, the CO2 level considered normal um, in outside ambient uh, conditions. So 400 around is a uh, green level and um, it keeps turning into yellow as uh, the CO2 starts racing uh, inside your room. I was surprised to see how it can really ri uh, rise um, as the day goes by and um, uh, it keeps increasing. So uh, it goes to yellow and then uh, once you pass uh, 1500 it starts turning into red and when you reach uh, 2000 uh, ppms then um, it uh, sends you an alarm and it tells you that it's time to ventilate your room because CO2 is um, high and it's not good for you. So uh, here uh, it also has um, a sonometer so that's kind of nice uh, I don't know how much I'm interested in knowing or um, how good it is sometimes I like to listen to stuff here in my room quite loud so but it's good to have so right now it gives you uh, the, um, the level of sound um, in your room which uh, at the moment is quiet just uh, 48 uh, decibels which um, it's a nice uh, uh, statistic to uh, um, to have around you have a uh, humidity uh, measurement as well inside uh, your um, your um, room. Oh, it just went to lively to 70 decibels, so I guess uh, it's taking my voice to be a little bit loud. So uh, it's nice, it's the first time I see it changing. So, um, anyways, it shows you also the humidity inside your uh, area where you have the uh, little um, weather station installed, and on top you have um, the temperature that you're measuring at that time. Uh, it shows uh, your lowest temperature if you tap on it and your highest temperature that it has reached so uh, that's what you get and um, this is basically your main screen on um, that you get with uh, the Netmo, Netatmo um, setup 
Now, uh, the cool feature is um, if you tap here on the information, um, you get a little bit of a description of uh, what is being shown and displayed on your phone. So, uh, if you uh, don't know, like, um, what uh, you're looking at, it uh, shows you here. And uh, the cool feature is, for example, I didn't know uh, the effects or why it was, um, in, in which way it was harmful to uh, um, have a, a high CO2 level in your house or what would be the uh, consequences and bad effects uh, on, on, on yourself with a high CO2 level and as well to know what was considered normal or um, uh, what a high level of CO2 was considered. So if you tap on it, it will go to um, another screen where it will give you an indication of uh, whatever it is that you're interested in reading about. So here um, it tells you uh, uh, what it means uh, when it's green, when it's yellow and when it's red. Um, it gives you um, a little bit of a, a description of, of it, uh, the normal levels that uh, you should be expecting to to have and um, when you should start ventilating your, your room. It tells you, gives you a little bit of information about CO2, what uh, parts per million or ppm mean, and um, tells you what uh, is normally found around when you are uh, outdoors and what you should uh, expect. And uh, here is uh, the little part that it was uh, interesting to learn about, um, which uh, tells you the little consequences and how it affects you. Uh, uh, if you ha if you are in an area with a high uh, CO2 concentration, so uh, it tells you how uh, it measures the CO2, how to calibrate it, and uh, there is a, there was another um, uh, part where uh, it tells you about uh, oh right here it tells you that above uh, 2,000 ppm um, can uh, give you a slight headache or um, cause um, sleepiness. So these are the little uh, effects that can have on you to be around in a um, high uh, CO2 concentrated area. So you can learn a little bit more about what is uh, being uh, shown. Uh, here you, uh, here uh, you can see uh, uh, more information about uh, the sound, um, how uh, the net atmo is measuring uh, the intensity of the sound in uh, your living area, and as well gives you uh, give, give you informative uh, information about uh, what is safe, what happens when you exceed uh, certain levels, and um, it's quite informative and. Um, this is basically what you get um, from the Net Atmo uh, station. Um, you can link this also to uh, IFT, if this then that, the service on the internet to uh, create recipes and send you emails or notifications. I haven't found a really uh, useful uh, kind of feature that I want to have other than the alarm if the CO2 rises too high. Um, also, uh, you can use the Stringify app also to create flows, which is very similar to IFT. To, uh, like I said, send you an email or notification when uh, temperature or CO2 or whatever you want to know about exceeds or goes below a certain limit. Uh, this is the Net Atmo um, app, the Net Atmo uh, weather station. Um, I like it. I didn't think at first that I would need it, but now I see it. Uh, uh, convenient and uh, useful to have. Now I know what the temperature is in my room compared to um, how it is, uh, for example, in my living room where my thermostat is reading the temperature. And because of that, yeah, I learned that um, it can be three or four degrees lower than um, my living room is. And then I decided to buy a heater because of that to try to compensate a little bit the cold um, uh, temperature in the lower area. So, um, I found uh, I found a use for it, and um, if you feel like um, having this in your house and you are concerned about how uh, the quality of the air you are breathing uh, every day, 
then this is a nice um, application that you can think of having.